Chino HD Training. We are back, Chino HD Training, and I want to take you through my upper body exercise. This is from footage from Take the Stage, episode 28. And a lot of people told me that I wasn't really in it enough, and they really wanted hands on, really in depth detail about why I do my exercises and what muscles they promote. So I thought that I would just come back and talk you through my upper body pulse section, which is actually good because I'm using my Canon camera, which actually shows a lot of good detail. So before we get into that, I'll be looking at the first exercise. The first exercise is the cable face bump. So with this, you really want to try to keep a straight back. You don't want a weight that's too heavy. You want to not basically move. You don't want to chicken neck the exercise by pulling your head forward and back. That's not what the movement is. It's more a uh, delt exercise, so think of your upper back and shoulders as well. So you go with an outside grip. You can see that I'm holding the outside of the bar, so my knuckles are facing out. And you make sure you pull it to where you're basically pulling a double bicep pose. Now after we move on to bicep curls. So guys, you can do this with the dumbbell or you can do it with a barbell. I prefer doing a barbell movement. I personally feel like it allows for a great contraction in the arm. Uh, you can manage the weight more effectively, less likely to create a wrist injury, which is beneficial for me. Now, I'm not saying that um, dumbbell curls are any bad to use in terms of bicep development, but for me, I experience that when I use dumbbells, I really plateau, I can't really focus the bilateral movement sometimes and I like to use a bar in order to keep on progressing. Also I find with dumbbells are more like to swing and cheat. With this I know that I've got a same wall position and I can't do any cheat reps. So after guys we move on to reverse pullovers. So I like to face the other way, you don't necessarily face this way, you're meant to turn around and do a front position but I like to turn around. I feel it gives me a better contraction, plain and simple, that's it. In terms of the weight, in this instance, I haven't always gone heavy. I always manage to build my weight up slowly. But again, this is more for a back routine and it hits biceps as well. But I basically love the fact that I can feel the full contraction in the back. There's not a lot of movements I can utilize in terms of the way my back is in terms of back pain. But you know, if you, if you have this in your gym, give it a go. Personally, for me, as long as I can feel the movement, slow progression movement, it's perfect. So we move on to hammer strength machine row. So personally, guys, this is one of my favorites. I would do this over bent over rows anytime. It kind of simulates a dumbbell row, but again, you can I, I well, you can do a, a unilateral and bilateral movement. I personally like to do a single arm on each side and then a double arm just to get the full effects of it. So I see too many people trying to go too heavy with this. It's not something to go heavy with, you need to slowly feel the pull and just don't yank it up and down guys. There's no point doing cheat reps, everything needs to be controlled. A really good shoulder builder is lateral raises. Don't care if you're doing a plate or a dumbbell or you're doing with cables. I'd say definitely add them in, build the caps of the shoulders. A lot of people go too heavy too soon. And honestly, you don't need to. All you really need to focus on is the movement. Do it slow and controlled. I see so many people with 20 kg dumbbells and the lit it looks like they are flapping their arms. Do it in a controlled manner. Make sure that you can actually move and hold the weight and you'll benefit a lot really. So now last exercise is shrugs. So again, shrugs is a must. I just do bar, uh, dumbbell strokes. A lot of people love doing barbell. A lot of people really don't do it correctly. What you don't want to do is roll your shoulders. What you want to do is keep your shoulders straight back and just go up and down. It's a shrug, not a shrug and roll. Too many people, again, use weights that are just too heavy for you. If, you, if you're basically chicken necking, again, where your head's going forward and your shoulders aren't going up, you're doing the exercise wrong. If you notice, I shrug up, tries to hold it for a second or two then shrug down it's all a slow and controlled movement if you literally just go up and down up and down up and down you're not hitting the key muscle fibers where you need it to grow anyway guys that's all that's my full session thank you for watching like share subscribe chino hd training